Hello again, and you join me in my shed. If you remember from the last episode, I did a prize giveaway for each of the thousand subscribers. So once again, thank you very much. Thank you for all the comments. It's been brilliant. And a lot of you have entered the competition for the giveaway. Let me show you the prizes. So if you remember from the last episode, I took items off my tool wall that I've already done a review on and uh, also things that I do use. So I've bought new now, so you've got it, everything new here. So 3D straddle square comes in real handy. Again, there's a video on that on my channel. Protractor, angle finder. In fact, this one has got spirit levels on as well. So there we go. Again, I've done a video on that. Carpenter retractable pencil. And it's got a sharpener at the end and some leads, some uh, drill bits, five piece hex fitting, titanium drill bit set made by Blue Spot. An old London bus that needs restoring. And a micrometer. I did actually say Vernier in the last episode, it's a micrometer. <laughs> right. And also some weekend shedhead stickers. I'm going to chuck them, most important. <laughs> and I did say there was something else, like a bonus item. But let me first show you what led me to get you this bonus item. Hello, and you join me in call. So we just had a short break in Cornwall. The weather was amazing. And that's why my face looks a bit like a tomato. <laughs> Went around all the beaches, around the coastal lines like Padstow, St Ives, Prantop Beach, Porth and Morgan Porth, just to name a few. There's so many beaches to explore around Cornwall. If you've never been, definitely worth a visit, especially when the sun's out. Plenty of shops, which sort of leads me to why I'm showing this video. Um, Cornish pasties. It's not a Cornish pasty, by the way. Or is it? Or if you're from Cornwall, I suppose they're just called pasties. <laughs> but I can't get enough of them. Here is the bonus item. So there we go, a Cornish pasty fridge magnet with a bottle opener. Right, so I was thinking, how can I pick a winner? And I know there's a lot of apps out there that you put all the entries into and it randomly picks a winner. But I thought I'd do something a little bit different and I thought I'd have a look around in the shed and let's see what I can find. I've got this, but let's make it a bit more unique. Well, that was extremely boring, but if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well, and I couldn't have lived myself if there was any missing. So I'm just gonna have a quick go through now, make sure there's any balls missing. I've actually got two spare ones as well. I've got to work out the best way of doing it because it only goes up to 90. So I'm pretty sure there's more than 90 entries. So let's have a look, I'll have a quick count up, make sure they're all there. So they're all there except for one, which was 65. So I use one of the blanks and write 65 on it.
So here it is, the Weekend Shed Ed bingo slash raffle slash giveaway machine thing. So basically a pop bottle or water bottle, numbers one to 55 on the balls. There's actually 110 entries. So each person has got a number next to it, but there's only 55 balls. Well, there's actually 90 and I'm not getting enough bottles to do 110. So I've done 55, number I take out and I'll flip a coin afterwards. And each person is either heads or tails. I hope that makes sense. The way it works is two nails, one there at the top and then one at the bottom. So when they've spun around, ball drops into that nozzle there and then to release the ball, take that other nail out with that pin back in. I'll show you in a second. Airline running to it, Airline has got a bit of a leak actually, so I've put a little bar on there just to support it. I need to get a new pipe for that. So that's hooked up under my bench, blows air into there and circulates them. Sat on a F clamp, let's give it a whirl. So there's balls in there from one to 55. Each number represents two people. Um, so when one number comes out, it's either heads or tails. Who gets the prize? Who wins? On the other phone, I've got a list of all the other entries. In fact, let me just scroll down to show you what I mean. So for example, there, Rusty Guy, hope you're watching. Uh, he's got 22 T next to it, that means tails. So if it's a number on its own, it's heads. If it's got a T next to it, it's tails. Hope that makes sense. I'm confusing myself now. <laughs> Let's fill the compressor first. It's only a small compressor, so I don't want to leave that running while I'm doing this. So I'll put the 50 pence piece on the side, ready, and uh, let's begin. Good luck. Right, let's go with the first whirl. First nail out, drops down, pop that one back in. A bit stiff. Maybe holes a little bit bigger. Don't mind. There it is, oh, we can get it. Right, 34. You can see that? Right, flip coin. Heads. Let's have a look. 34 heads is, you can see on that, Joe Polito, New Jersey, USA. Well done, Joe. You've won the main prize. Well, I say main because there may be a runner up prize. So, Joe, if you can just put a comment below just saying I'm the winner and then email me at weekendshedhead at yahoo.com with your address and then I'll send the prize out to you. Well done, Joe. So seeing as we've got it all set up, let's do another one. A runner up prize. Another pencil with some more leads. Let's give it a whirl. Let's fill the compressor first. Put the nail back in. Right, let's give it a whirl. Good luck. In. Oh, it's a bit easier. Let's catch it this time. Come out. Number 36. Number 36. Right, let's do heads or sales. Heads again. Right, where's my phone? Right, is Vinyl Steve. Well done, Steve. 
you've got the second prize, which is the pencil and the lace. Put a comment below and uh, email me at weekendshedhead at yahoo.com with your address and I'll send the pencil out. Now, as we've got all this set up, let's do one last prize. Third prize, I bought another fridge magnet. Right, the nail's back in, let's give it a whirl. It's out, it's out, it's out. Number 47. Oh, heads again. <laughs> okay. Is Spike Fubo. Spike, well done. You've won a fridge magnet. If again, if you put a comment below, email me at weekendshedhead at yahoo.com with your address and I'll send the fridge making it out to you. And thank you so much for everyone who entered. Why don't you put a comment below congratulating the three winners. Cheers. One for my fridge as well. Another thing that Cornwall's famous for, apart from pirates, is um, cider, look at that. Raging Cock, Cornish Scrumpy. So if your name was drawn, please pop a comment below saying I'm a winner of first, second or third. And if you drop me an email as well to weekendshedhead at yahoo.com and then put your address on there and I'll come back to you and I'll send it out. So thanks very much for watching. Take care. Cheers, my hearties. See you next time on Weekend Shedhead.